Well, I saw you, Bat. I saw you coming to fuck me up. That was the number three. And we take a detour through area four to get through to the Temple of Moonlight. Place the weight on this pedestal before you touch this wall because this is a teleporting wall. We're going to see lots of those later. Now, you're not supposed to be able to... You're supposed to have be standing beside this block in order to break it. By the way, don't hit these uh, snake blocks or so the eye will zap you. But if I stand right here, I know I can do this. Yes, if I stand just right, I can trick the block into thinking that I'm beside it. Yes, and Anubis... These little Anubis drones cannot kill you through walls. That energy wave thing will quickly drain your health. And use the knife on here to break this into this one. The light of the god of death delivers death to all living things. Only those who hold the book of the dead may escape this fate. And you have to be on the right side of that block in order to break it. And remember to go down this way because that upper path there is a dead end. Kill the fucking bugs. And this is the door that opens once we've killed Elmac. But now that we're here in the lower portion of the Temple of Moonlight. Oh! Fuck you, you're dead! Now, you'll remember some tablets that were telling us before about the way into Eden. Well, there are four areas here in the... Okay. I'm not sure how useful you're going to be to me. Um, I was talking about... There's four different areas here that we need to scan. One is the source of a phenomenal trap. So I scan that weight pedestal first before activating it. Ah. Next, where the hands reach. Where is, which is right there. Now, this is the part we need to deal with right here before we can teleport away. Jesus, you stupid fucking bitch. I knew you would screw me. Wait for it. Wait. Oh, God, no! No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, I have to wait for you to go away now. Because if I attack that, if I attack that structure in the upper right, that's part of the, uh, woman's pyramid. If I fucking attack that, or she attacks it, that fucking eyeball is gonna beat the shit out of me. Now, a while ago in the Temple of the Sun, we read a tablet that uh, was talking about having to choose three women and attack the one whose face never stops smiling. He's talking about that one. That one at the top there. And now that opens up... God damn it, you fucking attack fairy. You scare the shit out of me sometimes because you are more trouble than you're worth. So now we have connected the... Shit. Thanks, bitch. We've connected the upper and lower half of the Temple of Moonlight. So... I'm gonna wait until you go away, because you're more trouble than you're worth. There, I use a shield, which means she has nothing to shoot. And this... Now, do not use any low attacking weapons that will hit the floor. Because if you attack the cracks there, that's what the uh, eyeball is protecting. Let me go over here. Activate this. Open that. Yes, I do not like attack fairies. They're more trouble than they're worth. They usually wind up getting me. causing me problems by. With, whenever the Eye of Divine Retribution is around. <laughs> yes, good riddance. So yes, we have to find the four special areas here in the Temple of Moonlight. Aha, I did not get hit. We need to find the four special areas to scan here in the Temple of the Moonlight in order to activate weight pedestals for another puzzle. Solve the four puzzles, seek out the point, seek out the place they point towards. And another tablet tells us to 
find the dancing man now. Look at this guy here. See? He's in a different pose now. He's dancing. So we scan that. Excuse me. I wanted to get up there. This is a breakable wall into a secret room with a special treasure that we cannot yet obtain until we have the bomb, so I'm not even going to go bother going over there. Push this, and that releases the little triangle platform down there that you probably didn't notice. And breaking that, I think activated the weight pedestal up there. Wait. God damn it, get up there, you tar! I love the music in this level, by the way. Because just activating that one platform for us to ride on isn't enough. We have to activate this weight pedestal in order to get rid of the little triangle at the bottom of the pyramid so that we can actually ride the platform to the other side. We Ah, stay on there. Bastard! Get out of my fucking way! Let's see, so we got the phenomenal trap, we got the hands, we got the dancing man. The last one left is in the upper half. But hang on a second. <laughs> yes, now that these are connected, these are connected, we can finally use the Holy Grail and still be able to get back. Now the um, areas that we've scanned so far have activated these three weight pedestals, and we need to open all four in order to get this puzzle. Now that tablet right there tells us to be polite and open the boxes in order. So we need to open this one, this one, this one, and then this one to open this one. All in specific order. First, we need to activate the last weight pedestal. Because now that we've connected the two halves of the Temple of Moonlight, I still can't read this, um, I can get back here anytime I want through the Pyramid of the Man. Fuck you, you're dead. Don't bugger this up. Because there was another tablet that told us to scan, uh... Face of the highest rank. That was the shit. So now, all the weight pedestals over here have been activated. And in order to open the treasure boxes in the proper order, you need to activate the weight pedestals in this order. One... Two... Four... And three. And we get... The Fruit of Eden! Hooray! And what does the Fruit of Eden do? It activates a weight pedestal. Everything in this fucking game activates weight pedestals. Even the weight pedestals activate uh, just activate other weight pedestals. Get out of my fucking way! See? That weight pedestal up there in the uh, upper right. Deep fog, blah 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 blah. Fruit of paradise in hand. You notice the little uh, scan lines popping up that make this look like some 70s kung fu movie. Tree of Eden. Now you see those ghostly apparitions there. Every time you enter a new room here. Oh, and by the way, this whole place just transformed into a fucking den of nightmares! It's called Eden, Site of War. It is now the Gate of Illusion. Every time you enter a new area in this place, you need to keep an eye out for those ghostly women, because they will reveal clues in how to proceed through this area. Oh, see that? See that? She walked right into the wall. Jump into the illusion. Oh, and by the way, fake treasure wall. We can't even get to because we can't jump off ladders. 
Oh, 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 watch that one. She went through the wall. Oh, she's telling us to go that way. What do you want? Warp and warp. Yes, I know about the warpity warps. Nothing. And let's see what's over here first. Now, this puzzle right here, this is a puzzle. See that treasure chest? In order to open the treasure chest in this room, you have to walk in front of all these other open treasure chests first. So now that I've walked in front of those two, I just have to walk in front of those other two, and then that one will open. And one-way doors that do nothing for me. Oh! And while we're here, how's about we reconnect with the Graveyard of the Giants, which is right down here. You have to come down through this ladder in order to get rid of the giant ball that was in the way before. So now we have quick access to the artificial healing fountain that was in this area. So if we get low on damage, we can just take a quick trip to the Graveyard of the Giants and heal ourselves up. Isn't that convenient? Yes, the snake waits until after it hits me. And, yeah, there's nothing here. It's a blank fucking tablet. Why are you making such a big deal of this? Now, here's a puzzle that really confuses a lot of people. Blah, 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 blah. He proceeded to the right. Blah, 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 blah. Proceeded to the right, to the left. One can only hope that a true wise man stands here now. So... The fool went to the right. We go this way. Let's explore all our options. Remember to jump so you don't fall straight into the spikes. And nothing special here. Oh yeah, and a ladder that takes me right back up to where I was. But at least now, I can get this. Yes, I'm taking a few hits just for money. It's a lot of money! So yes, the fool went to the right. And I had to use another weight pedestal. Hooray for me. And the wise man who thought himself a fool doubted his intelligence went to the left. Fuck you and die. And oh look, fake wall. And there's the real treasure chest, because the other one is a booby trap. A trap with boobies. Go over here. And blank tablet. It's just... So yeah, we get nothing for that. So yeah, they were both foolish. They both went the wrong way. So which way would a wise man go? Well... There's an old saying I've heard once before. When the, for when the road splits, take the third path. Yes, you actually have to read this glowing light here. Something's written, but you can't decipher. And this... <coughs> activates the hole which the snake just happened to be standing on. Thank you for knocking me down there. And we fall through this fake-ass fucking wall. And yes, we have found the true path. You're supposed to somehow figure out that you're supposed to scan that little blue light down there in order to open up the hole so you can get in here. And now I look at the other two treasure chests. And they open! Hooray! I'm so glad I have my shield to block your shit. And I kill you. And... Oh look, upside down door. This is actually part of the puzzle of getting into Hell Temple, so we're not going to have to deal with that for a very long time. This weight pedestal, go back down here, and ladder! Please die. So yes, I can get over here now. And like I said, this one is a trap. Please die. Activate it from a distance with my sub-weapons, because that takes off a major shitload of damage if that explosion hits you. And then I get the map! 
the map to the Gate of Illusion. Fool's Confusion Corridor. Now, now where do I want to go? I want to go... I think... Yeah, I need to go back around again. So now this treasure chest will never open, and neither will any of the other ones. I could go heal. In fact, I probably should. But I'm going to be daring and do a bit more exploration before I do that. Fuck you. Now, you need to be able to figure out your way through this fucking teleporting maze. Get the fuck out of my way. Because if you walk into the walls... They warp you. So you want to go in that wall. Um, now, we know that that wall down there... Yes, the fool will never find his way. We know from the ghosty that this wall is fake. But there's a teleport point right there that takes us right back out. So we want to go in this wall, right back in this wall. And... Broken pots. Now, I don't know if you remember, there was a tablet that said... Uh, you have to be willing to get down on bended knee for one item. Notice these four pots. None of them drop anything. Except for this one that drops a single shuriken. Now that tablet means you have to stand here and push down in order to reveal this. You walk through this teleporting wall and it takes you right here where you can safely walk through the wall without being caught by that other teleporting point. And then we climb... And notice these little symbols of the small man. Oh, and Ghosty Lady shows us the fake walls over there. Now, we can't go down here because we have upward current pushing us back up. So we go over. Yaw. By the way, I do like the uh, upside down Nazca faces. No, Olmec heads. Can we talk to this? Duck fucking piece of shit. Fairies hid my treasures. Go get my treasures. I love fraud. Blah blah blah. Take some pepper. It only has one fucking use in the entire game. Don't come back till you find my treasures. Now, you go and you find the treasures using the pepper. And then you bring them back, and then he gives you the anchor which enables you to go down this upward water current. But I have another idea, which I learned from Megzi. Thank you, Megzi. Damage falling through the water current. I cheat games, and I love it. Now we can go down here. Kill that fucking rat. I said kill that fucking rat. And we still can't get over that door, so we need to go up here. Go to the scanner. Well, I'm relying on the fact that I saw the ghost lady showing me this. Don't go down that way. You want to go down this way. And now the door opens, and we talk to this guy, who gives me the tiny, the mini doll. Prove that thou art indeed small. Okay, now that we've got all this shit. Um. Show me rare items. Okie dokie. So first, we're gonna go here. Cause this is where we need to use the pepper. Hey. Hey! Fuck you! You could go around to every single giant statue in the game testing this, but it's right here. The treasures! Now we go talk to Zelpud. So anytime you find a new item in this area, you can take it to Zelpud and he will talk to you about it. He's already talked to me about the hand scanner. Talks about the pepper. And he's going to talk to me about the Dragon Bone. Sometimes he doesn't always have important shit to say about them. Hang on, I want my shield.
place that makes you look like a little man. And as long as we're here, we might as well use the original healing fountain. Don't want it to get jealous of the other one. So what does this make? Four times? If it had been five times, I probably would have saved myself a mark on the idiot death counter. Here we go, Healy Wheely. Now we must go and prove that thou art small. And away we go! 